Assalamualaikum Shaitan Ji. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Shailman Malaku, lecturer government degree college Kandiyaru. My subject is Dula Ji. My dear students, today I would like to teach you about my topic is urinary system of main. My subject is Dula Ji, chapter number one, class enter. So we are starting here the urinary system of men. The urinary system of men consists of kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, and urethra. In each human, there are two kidneys. Each kidney is surrounded by a membrane. That membrane is called peritoneum membrane. Peritoneum membrane, it also contains a fluid that is called a peritoneal fluid. And each kidney there are there are glands. These are called adrenal glands. Adrenal glands are located on each kidney. These glands are also called emergency glands. They secrete some type of hormones such as uh, epinephrine, norepinephrine, they help to maintain the blood pressure of the body. Each kidney having outer region that is called cortex and inner region that is called medulla. From each kidney arises a duct that is called ureter which opens into the urinary bladder. From this the urine goes out of the body of each human. So I have right, I have draw a diagram. You can see here there is a renal gland. This this kind of structure, this kind of diagram shows this is the kidney and its outer region is called cortex, its inner region is called medulla. And this this duct or uh, this tube that is called ureter for, from ureter then there is urinary bladder it is a bag like structure where urine stores and from the from the urinary bladder the urine goes out of body through the urethra then I have to write down about 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 the structure of a kidney see here this is the kidney this is the outer region that is called cortex and this is called this is inner region that is called medulla. The function of kidney is to purify the blood. What is the function of kidney? It helps to filter the blood. It helps to separate the toxic material from the blood. Now the, the blood vessels from the dorsal aorta goes to the uh, to the kid each kidney the blood vessels are called renal arteries this is known as renal artery renal artery carries blood towards the kidney for what purpose it carries blood it carries blood for purification then one hand blood goes in, in, the, uh, in the kidney there are filtering units these filtering units are called nephrons these filtering units are called nephrons each kidney is made up of millions of nephrons nephrons are functioning units of the kidney so blood from the renal artery enters into the kidney then it is filtered out 
into the kidney then it it uh, it uh, then it enters into the pelvis this region is called pelvis this is the region where this is the region where the urine is uh, is is stored for a short time then it enters into the ureter from the ureter it goes to the urinary bladder here you can see here is the structure it is called pelvis pelvis is a region when the when the when the blood is purified the urine is formed in the kidney then it enters in the region called pelvis from the pelvis it enters into the ureter and from ureter it enters into the urinary bladder from urinary bladder it enters into the urethra then out of body now what is what is nephron now first of all i have to draw the diagram of the nephron what the, the the function of nephron is to filter the blood you can say nephrons are the basic units of kidney each kidney having a millions of nephrons now nephron nephron is called filtering unit filtering unit of uh, unit of uh, kidney they filter the blood they purify the blood what is the function of the nephron the function of the nephron is to filter the blood the blood which contains some toxic material uh, the blood which contains some urine that is formed the urea that is formed in the liver it enters into the kidney uh, by the by the help of renal artery from renal artery it goes into the body of uh, kidney it then there are some type of special kind of uh, kind of cells or some kind of uh, you can say some kind of uh, uh, structures these structures are called nephrons they are the filtering units now structure of the nephron structure of nephron structure of nephron each nephron is composed of following structures number 1 malpighian bodies malpighian bodies malpighian body consists of glomerulus glomerulus and bowman's capsule bowman's capsule number second structure of nephron is proximal convoluted tubule proximal convoluted convoluted tubule number third is descending limb number four is loop of henle loop of henle number fifth is number 5 is ascending limb number 5th is ascending limb number 6 is distal convoluted tubule 
distal convoluted tubule. Number seven is collecting duct. Collecting duct. Now I am writing here, I am drawing here the structure of nephron for your convenience. You can say This is called glomerulus. This is called Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule. This is called the proximal convoluted tubule or PCT. This is called descending limb. Descending limb. And this structure is called loop of Henle. U-shaped structure. This limb is called ascending limb. And this structure is called distal convoluted tubular DCT. And this is the collecting duct. The smallest arteries are arterioles. They are which arise from the renal artery, which go to, towards the Bowman's capsule. These are called efferent arterioles. These are called efferent efferent arterioles. And those smallest arteries which arise from the glomerulus, these are called efferent arteries. These are called efferent arteries.